Well, right now, our 10 weather impact team is already issuing an impact day for Thursday because we could see our first snowfall of the season. Let's get to Jerry now for the very latest on what to expect. That's right, Doug. In just three days, Central Ohioans can expect to wake up to a little bit of snow, but it won't be freezing outside. It won't be 32 degrees or colder. So how is that possible? 10 Weather Impact meteorologist Michael Barron joins us now with the answer. Hey there, guys. We've been talking all weekend and, of course, all week long about the 10 TV weather impact day as we head toward Thursday when rain, snow and wind are expected here in central Ohio, likely to cause at least some impact to travel, mainly because it's our first bout of winter weather for the season. But one of the things I've been hearing people talk about is the temperatures, because this is not exactly what you would think of when you think of snowy weather. Temperatures in the mid 30s to low 40s seems to be just a little bit too warm especially when we have an hour by hour Thursday afternoon that looks like this with snow and wintry weather all across central Ohio. So what exactly is going on? Well, to understand that we have to take a look higher up into the atmosphere and how temperatures actually interact with the type of precipitation we get at the surface. Well, first off, if we have cold air above and it warm air below, well, that snow melts into rain and that's no big deal. If we have cold air at the surface, but still warm air above, that's freezing rain. That's a mess. Thankfully, not what we have to deal with this week. If we expand that cold layer but still have warm air, that turns our snowflakes into sleet when they refreeze. And of course, if it's cold all throughout the layer, well, then we have just regular snow. None of these really line up with what we have going on this week. What we're looking at is a deep layer of cold air above with a really shallow layer of warm air below. This means two things. First, the snowflakes that enter the warm layer don't have much time to melt, so a number of them reach us here at ground level. The other thing is something called evaporative cooling. That's the same effect that you see in the summer when you sweat and you feel cool to your skin. That cooling effect also helps to protect the snowflakes as they start to melt, providing a little bit more cool air and a little bit better chance for that snow to reach us here at the surface. Of course, how much snow actually reached ground level? Well, that's still yet to be determined. We'll be keeping a close eye on it here throughout the week. Guys.